Welcome back to another vlog. We're fishing a tournament this time. It's my first tournament of the year. One of the only tournaments I'm gonna fish this year. And uh, it's a place I haven't been to in a couple years. This is the White Mud River we're going to today, uh, just north of Portage, La Prairie. And uh, I, got a, I got a pretty good partner lined up for this one. Um, man, he's got a long list of tournament accolades, big fish, master anglers, and as well, is my father so I'm pretty pumped this is a place we have some good memories fishing together and I don't fish with my dad as much as I used to so he's taking his sweet time drinking his coffee we're gonna go fishing right away we stayed last night in Portage at the Yellow Quill motel so we're gonna catch some giant freshwater drum at least that's a plan and uh, yeah we're doing two days of it so come along <laughs> Here we are, Sportsman's Corner Campground. We're gonna launch and uh, get get serious, get really serious about our nightcrawler bottom pickle rig fishing. This is it. There is a lot of good memories right here. It was this dock or this dock, but this is a story that I've told many times. My dad and I were fishing near the tournament. The second time we fished the tournament, fishing the lead was 16 pounds at the time. It was probably one o'clock in the afternoon on the second day. Everyone's like, okay, 16 pounder's probably gonna win it. All of a sudden I hooked this fish and I was under tackled. I, I will admit that I was, what, 11 or 12? Yeah. I think I was using a little silver Mitchell rod and reel spinning combo with 10 pound mono. And I hooked this fish and it starts screaming drag to the left, tangling other people. And it starts screaming drag to the right, tangling other people. And I'm like, you guys gotta open your bales, I got a big fish. I didn't know what I had. All of a sudden it comes up and my dad nets it and is the biggest drum we've ever seen. We're just losing our minds. We bring it up to the scale right over here. The winning fish was, the leading fish was 16 pounds. This fish weighed in at 21 pounds, three ounces and 33 inches, which was two inches off the mount table record at the time. So I was just like losing my mind, I'm like, we got this in the bag. I can't believe that I'm actually gonna win my first derby. We come back down to the dock to release it and the fish won't swim. <laughs> we tried for how long, Dad? Oh, an hour, I think. An hour? Everything short of giving it mouth to mouth. And unfortunately it croaked. I was a sad, sad boy. And we let that fish float down the river and uh, become one with the river. And after that I had vengeance on this river. I said, we need to come back and we need to win next year because I was disqualified. That fish, that fish didn't count, so the 16 pounder won and the, the owners of the time said it was the biggest drum they'd seen in 20 years, so that was pretty cool. Next year we came back, put in some serious hours, and we caught the first and biggest fish of the tournament. So that felt really good. It's the White Mud River, we caught a 32 inch drum, 18 pounds. Oh. <laughs> That was 2005 or 2006, so 12 years back, 12 years later and we're back. I've been back to the river since, filmed a little music video you may have watched on the Uncut Angling channel. Aaron and Dylan and I had some, some good times on the river here. We're back to, back to fish the tournament. And uh, it's just gonna be good times with my dad and hopefully catch a bunch of fish. Should be a good multi-species day and just a lot of good memories here. So hopefully we add to that list and catch some masters. This is it. This is the big derby everyone's coming for. That's right. Yeah. This is it, $10 entry. You know what I'll spot it for you this time? Yeah, Take thank it out you. your winnings. You make up for all the years, <laughs> make up for all the years that I've paid for you. I told dad this trip, everything's on me. I <laughs> All right, it's a beautiful morning. Just gorgeous out here. <sighs> Yesterday it was raining and miserable. Didn't even think to bring the suntan lotion. Today we may be sorry. What do you think? I think this is a beautiful spot. The sun is warm, it's shining right on us. And, uh, <laughs> out of the wind. Out of the wind. We're just gonna drop the towel. I don't think we'll need to anchor.
All right, so just around the corner there is Lynch's Point, where the white mud flows into Lake Manitoba. Um, right here, we're just uh, fishing a little 14 foot hole, so we'll give it a shot. We're gonna use some bottom rigs. I'll show you guys what we're using, but we're gonna just start by catching some fish, because it's uh, how long till, till game time? I don't know, 10 minutes. Five minutes, four minutes? For a nine o'clock start, we really pushed it to the buzzer. Yeah, yeah, seven minutes. Seven minutes till game time. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get rolling. Yeah, hooked up. It's a catfish. Not what we we're hoping for. There you go, on the board. What we got carp, everything but the drum. Here you got nice little carp. All right, next is the drum. What do we got? Big carp. We're gonna save this fish's life right now. This carp is all tangled in the net. The goal is to free this carp. A good size carp. Just free this baby from the net. She's gonna live another day. Fat carp, probably a 25 incher. Man, this this is what we caught right there. Awesome. Yeah. What do you got, Dad? I think it's a drum. First drum of the tournament. You think you can just sling him in? Well, this is what we came for. The silver bass, aka freshwater drum. What the White Mud River is known for. There we go, first one. Not Number big. one, out of the way. I don't think it's worth... Uh, we're not gonna weigh that one in. No. We're just, we're just gonna toss it back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Probably an aster, right? Close. Let's pop the hook. I don't know, maybe a 22 inch or 23 inch we're gonna call it. We need bigger. We need bigger than that. Oh yeah. We are hammering little fish currently. It's probably one in the afternoon now. I don't know, we've caught 20 little guys maybe. Can't break that 24 inch mark. I'll hold this little guy up. So this is about the average, but they fight really hard. You get a kid who hasn't done a lot of fishing and it's a good place to take a kid, isn't that right, Dad? Sure. You're supposed to say, of course it was. When I took you here as a child, we had great times. Oh, we got a good drum. Good drum hooked up. Can I net it and film? Is this gonna work? It's a big drum. Dad's hooked up. We were falling asleep. Nothing had been happening for the past while. Take your time. It's a little hook. It's a little hook. Oh, we're going right in with this one, Dad. How are you feeling? Slow. See what you got. Ooh, there we go. That is more what we were looking for right there. Throw it on the tape quickly. We got 26. So that's a master right there. That's more what we're looking for. Okay, we're gonna throw this one live wall and we're gonna go rent it in. It's not a monster, but it's a master and it's worth weighing in because the fishing's been pretty tough for bigger fish. So we're gonna run it back and come back out here for the last hour or two of the day. Well, her fish is chilling and happy in the live well. We have the fish in the bag. <laughs> it is not gonna put us in the lead. No, no. But. We're documenting this. We thought we'd uh, see what we got. I'm guessing seven pounds. Oh. oh, you're in third. 10 and a quarter. Third place, there you go. Just a nice, smooth release. 
as long as you can until she kicks. And your guys' name? Siemens. That's Laverne Siemens. Laverne? Yeah. Okay. She's gone. Going for a cruise, probably gonna go sit into that boat. Kind of what I guessed, we're gonna need a 16, 17 pounder to move up into first, which is like a fat 30 incher. That was a decently proportioned 26 incher. Uh, we're gonna head back out. We got two hours left, and that's gonna be it for day one. So, hope we can get that last bite and make it back in time. Two hours later. Before we head in, I'm gonna take my drone for a little flight. And I wanna show you guys the epicness of this location because there's a reason there are so many fish loaded in this river. You saw inside imaging. It was just loaded, Dad, you're getting bites. Um, this river is the only tributary in the area and giant Lake Manitoba is over there. So it is such a, a magnet in the springtime for fish to come in. And not only big drum, big walleyes, big carp. There's a giant sucker run if you wanna go net suckers in the spring. But uh, I'll, I'll show you guys what we're, what we're dealing with where we're at right now. Day two, final day. We have till three o'clock to catch the 16 pound drum to beat out Carson Warkington, who's currently in first. I'm feeling good. Water's gonna be warming up today. We're gonna smack them. We're trying a new spot this morning. We got some shrimp. Secret bait, we got some shrimp. Because we ran out of crawlers, shrimp should be something different. I think that's what we caught our big ones on 10 years ago. Fishing memories. There's fish beside us at the side, of, like look on the side imaging. Can you see that? There's bad glare. Those are shadows of fish that are right there. Anyways, we're gonna start fishing. <laughs> okay guys, it's time for a bit of an update. Dad's using shrimp and crushing the mud crawlers on. I haven't gotten bit yet. Dad's, this is like the third fish he's hooked. It's a, big one. it's a nice drum. What time is it? We're gonna check the time. Too early. It's 8.30, so this fish isn't gonna count yet, but look at this drum. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a fatty. What do you think? Yeah. It's just too <laughs> early in the day. <laughs> just too early. Okay, we're gonna get some slow-mo of this fish. Okay. Shrimp's good. This new location's good. And the average size is just so much better. So I'm fine waiting it out for a big bite. We'll spend at least another half hour, hour here before we move. Hopefully get that big one quick. Today, in Laverne's kitchen cooking corner, we have bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. Mmm. Nothing like a little bacon in the boat. What's next, some eggs maybe? I think so, yeah. yeah. Laverne crushing breakfast duty. Putting some bacon on those sandwiches. I'm monitoring the rods right now. Just caught a little catfish. We we're getting lots of bites. What are you using now? Uh, bacon and minnow. <laughs> bacon and minnow, a little leftover from breakfast. There we go. That's a big bullhead. Master's 12, that is a 15 inch bullhead right there. That is a big, ugly 15 inch master angler bullhead. It's probably the place to come if you want to catch master bullheads. Chance at a 16 incher, I think Mantleberry record 17 or so. That's a 15. Still not what we're going for. Welcome to the tackle corner. This is very basic. Um, honestly, a pickerel rig would probably be as good as anything for fishing on the White Mud River. Super easy. Um, you got two baits, then you catch two fish at once. But we used a, a slip sinker rig, basically an egg weight, two ounce egg weight to a swivel. This is a very short leader. You could have done a longer leader to a one aught octopus hook for bait we're using shrimp we're using minnows we're using crawlers they're all good as far as rod goes um this is a heavy 7.9 you can use a heavy spinning setup pretty much you just want to be able to handle 20 or 30 pound fish so 20 pound braid's pretty good and uh i've hooked fish on light spinning gear like i said earlier and it's quite the fight so just if you can beef up your gear a little bit it's a lot better for the fish and just a chance of landing that big one so we got another half hour to fish and we're gonna see if we can make it happen yet
You gonna wrap this video up, Dad? Yeah, last spot here. You can tell the fishing has slowed down. I've been out there for half an hour with the same bait on there. Yesterday they were eating them every 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, it's time to go home. Call it a wrap. Call it a wrap, says Dad. Awesome time fishing the White Mud River. One of the gems of the central region of Manitoba. If you are gonna take kids fishing, the White Mud in the spring is an amazing option to catch a variety of species and master angler size. Sportsman's Corner is a sweet spot. You don't need a boat to fish this river. You can shore fish as well, Lynch's Point. I don't know what else there is to say. You, you should come check it out and uh, come when the water's a little bit warmer because probably in a week from now, a couple days after you see this vlog, it'll be prime time. So once this drops, it's time to come to the river because water warmed up a couple degrees while we we're here. I'm just rambling now. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll check you next time.